what's up welcome back to my channel so let's get into my natural hair clip-in routine i'm gonna be showing y'all how my better length clip-ins are holding up and we're gonna just do the full judge so let's get into it we gotta start by getting this head together because girl why i've been working around like this for a month <laughs> Whew. okay we're gonna go ahead and speed through the wash day because i really want to do a separate video um with this new in-depth wash routine i have because i have some new products that are listening for the natural girls for the curls like my curls have never been so hydrated and juicy so i really want to slow down with y'all and take y'all through my new wash day process in a separate video make sure to stay tuned for that so we're gonna go ahead and get to blow drying and just go ahead and blow the hair out and get prepped for the clippings. Okay, blowout. She's shaking and shining and ready to go. So let's go ahead and break out these better length clippings that I done store at the back of my closet, honey. If y'all haven't watched my original video unboxing and everything, go ahead and check them out. But I done had these clippings for a hot minute. These are the seamless clippings in the light yakky texture, 14 inches. I keep them in the same way that I put them in, so everything can stay like in the same order because I do like customize my clippings as far as like layering them, cutting them, and all of it. So yeah, you just want to keep them in order so you can install them the same way that you put them in last time. So since they've been sitting for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and give them a refresh. I was thinking about washing them. I'll do that next time and show y'all how the washing process is. But this time, I'm like, honestly, they didn't sting. They wasn't... All I needed was a little little silk press refresh. So I turned my flat iron up to 450 because I did want to get these a little more silked out this time to match my silk press because my hair has just been girl's been doing some smooth silky things so <laughs> i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get the yakky straight to really be like uh you know relaxer day yakky straight and that's what the better length um the this light yakky is giving anyway like they silk out so good like look at that nice little shine it's not doing too much though like it just i love 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 this texture i think this is the only texture not i think i know that this is the only texture i will wear with some clippings so i'm turning my flat irons down to 410 um because i don't want my hair like silky silky straight i just want that light yakky straight to match the clippings so we're gonna go ahead and silk out to prepare to put the clip in in press okay make sure to stay tuned for the full video again the wash day silk press because listen we get into our natural hair bag okay so let's go ahead and install these clip-ins i always put the shortest um pieces at the back and then the the remaining shortest pieces at the front because they give you four short pieces um so y'all will see it's the it's an easy process you part you put in you snap them and i love these seamless y'all these seamless clip-ins are life because they really like tuck away good they're not the traditional clip-ins where it's just bulky right there but it really lays flat it's giving you sewing it's nice and tight like girl these 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 clip-ins ain't going nowhere y'all gonna see me shaking in just a little bit like seamless clip-ins just hold in really good and just give you a flawless blend with your hair <laughs> Thank you. 
last clip in on um and you have like your pretty much look at it like a sewing like you have your leave out space that's where you really start to work the magic to get everything blended in so if your hair is on the shorter side like mine um you just want to leave out less hair so i know like listen this wouldn't work if we left out this much that ain't gonna work it ain't gonna blend in but we're gonna do that just so we can do our remaining two little pieces and put them as close as possible to the hair being left out and covering the top and when you do that you get that you get a flawless smooth just va va boom nice blend you see that you see that that's how you do it okay y'all this texture is just it for us natural hair girls and we're gonna go ahead and customize these clippings i cut them i believe like a little bit when i first installed them but this time i just really wanted to really customize them and listen don't be afraid to customize your clippings you can cut them and the trick is taking them out and leaving them in the order that you put them in so next time you put them in it can just stay to that exact shape and so you know let your clippings grow with you i mean they can't grow <laughs> That's the only thing about extensions, of course, when you cut them, you can't get the hair back. But, you know, let them, like, flow with you, whatever look that you want with your clippings. Keep on changing it. Like I said, all you have to do is take them out, keep them together, and put them back. They'll be just the same. So, I wanted to give a little shape, a little body, a little bounce. So, I'm taking my curling iron. And we just gonna do some curls, okay? Curls for the girls. I really wanted to show off the layers, the short layers, and give, like, a real natural tassel. And just giving, like, a great grown heavy mother hair you know what i'm saying not tell me you couldn't tell me this was not my hair i love a good wash day clip in install it just makes you feel like i just left the salon like i just got a, a bust down sewing like it just feels so good to have a fresh clip in <laughs> install so cute y'all i love everything about these clip-ins i nothing negative at all so make sure to click the links down below shop better length it is always a great idea to have a pair of clip-ins in your closet okay so thanks for watching make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you on the next one peace girl